doing the real estate excise tax affidavit process, which is anytime real estate's transferred or sold in Cowlitz County, um, we have to do that process first before it can get recorded at the auditors. I've been with the county for eight years now, and the historical experience within the excise experience has always been very cumbersome. It's very archaic and overwhelming with the workload. I think when we did the board, the Kaizen board, all the processes, when you look at it on a wall, it's just so huge to realize exactly how many steps you are doing and being redundant at. In the beginning, we were a little in awe, at least I was, um, of how many post-it notes there were on there to get from beginning to end. Originally, the excise tax affidavit had four copies. We're down to one. Um, originally, it went to the state. One went to the assessor, one went to the taxpayer, and one um, came to the treasurer's office. All we require is one now. It's scanned. It goes into a depository, LaserFish. It gets electronically to the state. Um, it goes through LaserFish through a workflow, goes to the assessor's office. So we don't need all those copies. All we need is one now. After the Kaizen, we also um, included information out here at the front desk, which we didn't have before. We included um, the REIT forms themselves, the mobile home REITs. Um, we've got some business cards and stuff out there for people. Um, before, we were actually have, they would have to wait in line to get any of the forms, then go back and fill it out, and then wait in line to complete them. So this is kind of um, erasing that wasted step as well. There are many things that have transpired. It's, it's a never-ending change, and I guess that's another part of the Kaizen is always seeing where things can change and um, the, the results we're, we're now processing electronically. I am now moved over here. We're changing our office structure around to be able to streamline different processes instead of having three different workstations or two workstations. We're having one workstation that is suited to each employee instead of a lot of back and forth running around, useless motions, useless paperwork really identifying, well, what is needed, what is not needed, but why are we doing that? Uh, just opening up our eyes to what we're doing day in and day out and uh, streamlining. The county started doing training on lane. They had uh, several of the employees went to yellow belt training to become certified as yellow belt and lane. It kind of became contagious. Uh, they came back and presented proposals I actually sent out the list that the county had provided in this training of how to look at your processes and challenge the office to see if even the people that didn't go to the training could come up with a process and, and some steps to lean it down. Uh, Stacy had selected the first appearance criminal docket because it involves uh, multiple departments and multiple steps. The first appearance is the first time that um, an defendant appears in court and it's the purpose of it is to establish probable cause to hold the defendant. Um, we anticipated it was 25 minutes from start to finish for just one case and my goal was to narrow that down to 15 minutes for our office. Once they started diving into the process they determined that it took us even longer than 25 minutes that our our average was was higher than that so my anticipation of cutting that down from 25 to 15 was unrealistic because it took us even longer than we thought. Not to mention the other departments that were involved in it. Uh, the main highlights were um, uh, electronically filling some of the some of the paperwork that we do it was was transported by hand uh, across the street multiple times a day. I mean, in, encompassing more than an hour a day. Uh, for some of the parties and it would it would involve us getting the documents later in the day than than was adequate for us. The proposals that we came up with I don't think were on the table at all when before we started the process. So actually being able to sit down and break things down at, you know to the extent that they were broken down helps in, in trying in finding solutions that you wouldn't have seen uh, if you didn't have an opportunity to take a step back and, and examine things. Do it. Just avoid the skepticism and, uh, you know, don't, 
don't be so afraid of change and it will benefit you. It will benefit your office and, and you and I mean, it just do it.